all started with 144 pairs, now all till down to the last 12. This is the British Car Pangling Championships 2023 final. Welcome to the BCAC final 2023. We're at Broadlands Lakes in Southampton where over the course of the weekend, 12 pairs will go head to head. And in 48 hours time, one of those pairs will be named the new British Carp Angling Champions. It's Friday morning and all of the anglers have arrived. Now yesterday evening and also this morning, we have seen a lot of fish in front of pegs one and two, but also a couple of fish at the other end of the lake in front of pegs six and seven. So with warm and sunny weather conditions, it will be interesting to see whether surface fishing tactics will play a big part for the anglers. But it's all exciting and it's time for the draw. First out of the bucket was Jack Lamb and Brian Byford drawing peg four. Following this, everyone drew their swims, some pairs coming out where they had hoped, others were not so lucky. But overall, it was a very tense draw and these are what the pegs were looking like as we headed into the match. was underway and before long there was already a fish to be weighed. Kicking off the match was Andy and Gavin Grant in peg 10 with this 22 pound 2 ounce mirror. Here you can see Colin Scott and Andy Mundy in peg 8 with their first fish of the match, a mirror carp weighing 17 pounds and 3 ounces. So we're an hour into the competition and there has already been three fish landed. An early fish for peg one and we've just seen a nice 22 pound two ounce mirror in peg 10 and also a fish in peg eight. But most of the anglers are concentrating on surface fishing so if it continues the way that it is, it's going to be a very busy and exciting match. So we're now a couple of hours into the match and there have been a few more fish caught and we've just been to peg three with Martin Noble and Oscar Thornton for the pair's first fish. But behind me you can see Ashley Izzard and Tony Reynolds who have just caught their fifth fish of the match. So um, there's two good anglers in the same peg that they drew last year. So if conditions stay as they are, could they be up for the win and get the name on that trophy? Next we headed to peg 12 with Liam Morgan and Wayne Farron with a beautiful mirror giving them 15 pounds and two ounces. Just around the corner from peg 12, peg one with Ashley Azard and Tony Reynolds already had an incredible lead over everyone else after catching multiple fish in the first couple of hours. This fish was a very important fish that would increase their lead even further weighing in at 32 pounds. Heading into the first night, this is what the scores were looking at. Like. 
The second warning started off in peg nine with Joshua and David Bellew for a £15.15 .15 ounce meal. It's now Saturday morning and there have been 10 more fish caught since 6 o'clock yesterday evening. So that means there have been 30 fish caught in total over the competition so far. Another three fish for Ashley and Tony including another 30 pound fish and pegs 11 and 2 have also had a couple of fish over the night as well as peg 9 has caught a fish so they are now on the scoreboard. But it's set to be another really warm day today, even hotter than yesterday. So um, it'll be interesting to see with the tough fishing conditions whether Ashley and Tony can extend their lead and watch the battle unfold between the other podium positions. Shortly after this fish in peg 1, we were called to peg 5 for the pair's first fish, followed by a brace of fish giving them a total of £52.15 so far. So we're here in peg five with Matthew and Wes and you, this is the first year you've entered the BCAC and you made it to the final. Um, and in the last hour and a half you've managed three fish, so um, this has put, pushed you up into second place, so how do you feel? Um, well, brilliant actually, um, we, you know, started off struggling yesterday but um, managed to find something that was working. Um, and yeah, we've had a good bit of spar this morning, um, so yeah, just hope it uh, carries on throughout the day. Um, see where we end up really, um, that's all we can do. So we have just come from peg 5 straight to peg 11 where Ben Hunt and Josh Steer have fish feeding in front of them on the surface but they also have two fish in the net. Well it's getting really exciting because if these fish are mid doubles or bigger then it will push them straight up into second place. So we've just weighed two 19 pound fish for you, which gives you a total weight now of 62 pounds and four ounces. But we've also just heard that Peg 8 has also weighed in the fish, giving them 67 pounds and ounces. Um, but there's, you've still got fish in front of you and there's still time left. Yeah, I think we feel, we feel confident for another bite. Um, we've had them going through the swim probably in the afternoon, so we're just hoping as they go through to the pad area that we will be able to pick one or two off this evening. So. Yeah, well, we'll leave you to it and um, best of luck. Thank you. Cheers. So we're now halfway through the competition and this is what the scores are looking like and we still have Ashley and Tony in first who are still increasing their lead with 19 fish now but um, it's getting really close and exciting with everybody else as well even down to like six. Yeah you can see I mean you can see there's been a flurry of fish through this midsection today. Uh, the fish have definitely moved a little bit from here. These guys are still still plugging away, doing a fantastic job down there, aren't they? But I mean, you're talking, as you say, down to sixth place. You're talking one one fish, really, one twenty twenty pound or twenty two pound between sixth place and second. Yeah. Those last two podium spaces yeah. at the moment are well up for grabs. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it'd be interesting to see how it pans out this afternoon. Um, there'll be more fish coming out and more changes through here. I think Ashley and Tony will keep catching, but we'll we'll yeah. see how it goes. Yeah, and it's still all to fish for for those other podium positions. So we um, just have to see how the rest of the match goes. 100%. So we're in peg one with Ashley Azard and Tony Reynolds. And um, you've got quite a considerable lead over everybody else. And we've just put back your 20th fish. But um, you're in the same peg as you were in last year. So how did you feel about the draw? Yeah, it's quite amazing to pull out peg one again. It's like, what's your luck? You don't normally do that, especially with the peg what it is, with the weather. They're, they're stacked up in quite big numbers. So. Yeah, and this isn't your first time in a BCAC final, so what would it mean this year to finally get your name on that trophy? Yeah, I mean, everything. This is what we work hard for every year. Preparation, time, effort, time off work. 
So it'd be a dream. Yeah, like everyone does it for the, just to win it. I'll like, get your name on that trophy. Yeah, well, best of luck for the rest of this evening and the last of the competition. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. After that fish in peg one, we then went around to peg four with Jack Lamb and Brian Byford, who had carp feeding on the surface in front of them, and it was only a matter of time before they hooked into one of these fish. with Jack and Brian and um, this morning sort of was a bit tricky for you wasn't it? Yeah to say the yeah. least <laughs> we dropped a couple of good fish at the net and uh, you know we sort of wondered where our next bite was going to come from then we changed it up and managed to nick some today haven't we? Yeah we've done alright yeah it started it was live it's been hard work since the start of the match but yeah, uh, yeah this morning we changed changed it up a little bit had some bites even though we lost a few we've managed Picked to fix it back up now yeah, put a few in the net that's it yeah, and we've just put back a um, £26 and 2 ounce ghosty for you, which gives you £86 and 15 ounces in total now. So with tonight and also tomorrow morning, um, how are you feeling for the rest of the night? Feeling right, but we're wet. We're wet through, but we, we're yeah. positive. <laughs> we're <laughs> positive we could uh, get another couple of bites. So the fish were punishing us there, weren't it? Was. But yeah, it was yeah. No, it's all uh, looking all right for us. We and we'd love to pole him. Yeah, that's the main thing yeah. here. Is like Ash and Tony are running away with it down the end, and we're just trying to catch as many carp as we can. Yeah. That's it. If we podium, then you know we'll be over the moon with yeah. that, and we we'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, best of luck for the rest of the competition. Thank Lovely. you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Next we went to peg 12 for a 14 pound 5 ounce common. Then to peg 2 for another brace of common carp. Now Saturday evening and what a day it has been. It was really warm earlier but when it started to cool off um, several pairs around the lake have caught fish. Ashley and Tony and Peg One have had a few more fish as well, not only increasing their lead but also pushing their total weight over 500 pounds in a BCAC final. What's also really exciting is the battle for second and third place because it's really really close and um, there are several pairs around the lake who are in the running. So we'll just have to see what the final night brings. The following morning, we were back round to peg four for another fish. After peg four, we were back to peg one, this time being for an £11 9 ounce ghost car. Then right when we were about to take pictures, Tony's rod screamed off with another fish.
competition and since last night um, Liam and Wayne in peg 12 have landed three fish which has pushed them up from fifth place into second. Now Jack and Brian in peg 4, they, um, although they have lost one this morning they have also landed one and are currently sitting in third place but they are still chasing that second place with only one good fish needed so we'll just have to see what the final few hours of the competition bring. Now in peg nine with Joshua and David Bellew who have just had a flurry of four fish. Now these fish are decent fish so this could push them straight up into second place but it's really exciting so let's get these fish weighed. So we're in peg nine with Joshua and David Bellew and you've had quite a hectic morning and you've just landed um, four fish um, which took you from ninth place with 51 pounds and five ounces straight up into second place with um, 148 pounds and four ounces so how are you feeling? Pretty good no? It's mad isn't it? It's Pretty just bad plenty of fish about. Busy, a busy hour wasn't it? Busy yeah. hour, got them on top and then double take at one stage didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just kicked right off but still got a couple hours. Well, best of luck for the last couple of hours. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers. So we're now in peg eight and Colin Scott and Andy Mundy have just weighed in a couple of nice fish, giving them a total weight now of 128 pounds and 10 ounces and also pushing them up into third place. So it's getting really exciting in the last few hours of this year's British Carp Angling Championships final. So we're now in the final half an hour of the match and we are back down in peg one for Ashley and Tony's 33rd fish. So we've got 10 minutes of the competition left to go and we've just heard that Peg 8 have had another two fish, one being 30 pounds and two ounces, and are also playing another one, which puts them into second place above the pair next door to them in Peg 9. <laughs> So the hooter has just been blown and I'm here with this year's champions, Ashley Izzard and Tony Reynolds. So how do you feel? Amazed. Yeah. The dream comes true. We've worked so hard over the last 10 years, if not more. I've been doing it 10 years. How long have you been doing it? I've been trying to win this for nearly 20 years, so I'm quite emotional. Hard work, it's dedication been brilliant, brilliant. and yeah. just stuck to our guns and fun year of our year. Yeah. Massive well done and congratulations Thank on you your win. It's everything you dream of, isn't yeah. it? So the hooter may have been blown but it wasn't all over yet because if anglers hook a fish just before the hooter then I have 10 minutes after the hooter to land that fish for it to count. So we're in peg 8 um, with Colin Scott and Andy Mundy and that was a very close battle with the pair next door to you in peg 9. But um, you've just come second in this year's British Carp Angling Championships final, so how are you feeling? All made up, to be honest. It didn't look on the cards at all. You know, there's been an odd fish here throughout the weekend in the days, but they just racked up, the conditions changed perfect, and we managed to come at the end. So, to be fair, it's been a great battle. Fair play to them, they had one lich on the Utah. It's been fantastic, to be fair. It's been a great competition. So I'm here in peg nine with Joshua and David Bellew and um, you have just come third in this year's BCAC final but it was quite a close battle with the pair next door to you in peg eight so how are you feeling? Oh amazing that this morning yeah, we, we woke up and we were in ninth and we had four quick fish didn't we? Yeah. Shot up to second the next door had two and then it was literally just one each like this yeah. and just and then 
fair play to them guys and Ash down there. It's been a great match. For the team winners representing Team Mainline were Jack and Lewis. Then with the biggest fish trophy were Andy and Gavin Grant. In third place overall was Joshua and David Bellew. In second place was Colin Scott and Andy Mundy. And in first place was Ashley Azard and Tony Reynolds. Well done, everybody. Yeah.